Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today because we are doing a little tarot unboxing and this couldn't be a more perfect tarot for me. I am so excited to unbox this with you guys, look through the cards, and just get a general vibe check. Now you may or may not know about this tarot. This is the new Goddess of Love Tarot by Gabriella Herstic with art by Snakes for Hair. I'll have them all linked down below. You guys know I love Gabriella Herstic. She is IRL, one of my besties out here, and I love and honor her and all the work she does because she really does amazing work and comes out with beautiful books and content. So when I found out she was making a tarot deck, I literally screamed. I was so excited and I immediately pre-ordered it. So it just came last night and I am so excited. As I'm filming this, it is, um, two days away from the Aries full moon. And so you know this baby is gonna be blessed under the Aries full moon. It is perfect for it. So let's get into the deck. I'm gonna read a little bit about it to you. Um, we'll talk about it and then we'll just do a very aesthetic flip through of all the cards so you guys can just vibe out and check it out. I will read to you what the back says. Whether you are new to the tarot or a longtime enthusiast, this radiant 78 card deck and companion book are for anyone who wants to empower themselves through a deeper relationship with the goddess of love and sex and all her manifestations. With Gabriella Herstic as your guide into the mysteries of the divine erotic, learn specific tarot spreads to assist in connecting to the energy of love and lust, as well as how to work with the cards to create rituals, prayers, and devotional offerings to goddess and yourself. Through this deck and the goddess of love, come back to the body, the flesh, and the heart as your temple and most sacred source of power. Obsessed and love everything. I did my whole outfit and makeup and everything to kind of like go with the vibe of this. So I'm excited. First of all, so it comes in this box. Um, it's gorgeous. It's pretty big actually, head sized even. <laughs> really, um, one of the things that really striked me when she first posted the announcement was the illustrations. Like it's really pretty. The illustrations are gorgeous and I love the vibe. It's like this collage art style and I just think it's so cool. I really love it. You get a guidebook and it's a really nice size. I feel like tarot decks nowadays, <laughs> nowadays they're coming with these nice like book books in color and everything. Like what? Something you know if you read Gabriella Herstic books are all of her books have a really pretty colored font and I think that's beautiful and it's just like a little thing that adds so much. So the book itself is very pretty and then there's a little prayer on the back that I think is really, really nice and sweet. It says, may the goddess of love bless you and keep you. May she guide you deeper into the mysteries of your heart. May she hold you on your journey in perfect love and perfect trust. And may these cards be keys that unlock her energy within you. So I haven't looked at this yet. I'm really excited to check out this book. She's got a lot of info in the beginning. And one thing that is really, really cool, as maybe you know, if you're familiar with the tarot, the major arcana is often viewed as the hero's journey. It's kind of this view through this journey, basically. She says it can also be viewed from the perspective of the goddess's journey in which the goddess goes to the underworld and encounters something dark, something plutonian, something that renews her. The goddess is only the goddess after she has gone through the pain that has brought her to a new expression of self. And as you'll see, the major arcana is a little bit different. I believe the minor arcana is the same in terms of the suits. The only thing that's different is the court cards. So instead of the page, knight, queen, and king, she uses maiden, witch, queen, and crone. And I'm really excited to see if maybe if there is a different meaning to those. The major arcana, however, is quite a bit different. She's got a goddess of love blessing, some tarot spreads a spread to heal heartbreak, very like love focused. So how she has it laid out is we've got the original name or like the traditional name of the major arcana card up here, the fool. And she lets you know what it is renamed after, um, which in this case is the void. You also have a goddess and an elemental correspondence. So for the goddess for this, for example, it's Shakti and the elemental correspondence is air 
And so you've got a bunch of information about the card and then you have an affirmation, a journal question and a ritual. So you literally can do so much with this deck. You can like, yeah, use it as a prompt for your journaling, use it as traditional tarot, use it to prompt ritual. And I also think you could use this to be like, uh, if you're looking to do some like goddess communication and you're not sure which goddess you want to reach out to or you're like open, you can maybe pull from the major arcana and see like, is there a specific goddess I should be working with or an archetype of a goddess that would be beneficial to me right now. And I freaking love that. So oh, I'm obsessed. So I am just gonna get into this y'all. Let me show you before we do our little look through. We've got the holder came out a little bit of the holder, but that's fine. I don't even know what this is called. I keep calling it the holder, but yeah, I like the, this thing. The back of the cards are so trippy and cool. Even my husband was like, whoa. I showed him these already. Look how pretty that is. And then we begin. So hop on over with me to my altar and let's do a little flip through action.
Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do some more tarot unboxings, let me know if there's a specific deck that you want me to look at. Um, otherwise, I probably need to dial down how many tarot <laughs> decks that I'm buying because I have quite a bit. But, you know, which can never have too many divination tools, right? Thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you, Gabriella Herstic, for coming out with this masterpiece, as always. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!